Hi, my name is Gary Brower, Gary Brower Guitar Repair in San Francisco, and I'm here to show you how to change your own strings. What you need is some tools. I use the Turbo Tune on my uh, screwdriver. You can put it in a drill or anything you have that you can control the speed and not go too fast. Or you can use a, a string winder or the old-fashioned way, just your fingers. I use a pencil to lubricate the nut slots to help your guitar stay in tune. We have a clippers to cut the string off so you don't stab yourself. And uh, we have some fingerboard conditioner uh, should you take all the strings off at once and want to condition uh, an ebony or a rosewood fingerboard. So we're going to start by removing the string. These handy winders have a bridge pin puller on them, so you can take that out. And get your strings going. The Dunlop strings are nice because they're wrapped in an airtight package. Keeps them fresh, so when you put them on, uh, they're not rusted or anodized, or uh, oxidized, rather. So we'll start with the low string. One of the tricks to uh, restringing an acoustic guitar is seating the ball end on the inside of the acoustic guitar bridge. The string does not rest on the bottom of the bridge pin. It actually rests up a little bit so it uh, doesn't pull through the top. So it doesn't need to fit tight. It's a very loose fit and the way you do it is you put the, put the string in, put in your bridge pin and then you'll pull up on the string. You'll tug it a few times and you'll feel, at some point, you'll feel the ball end slip from the bottom of the bridge pin up to the side of it. And it's very, very important because otherwise your string will continue to slip out and eventually push the bridge pin out. So I can now just finger tight, tug on the string, it won't go anywhere. It's because the ball end is pushing that way, not out. So we got that settled in take the tuning machine. I like to start uh, with the whole parallel, um, you know, with your nut slot. What we're going to do is show you two different ways to put the strings on. You can do all the strings one way or all the strings the other way. It doesn't matter so much. You may be comfortable with one or the other. I'm going to start with just the simple method of putting the string through. Before I tighten the string, I'll take a little powder graphite. Just like you're coloring it in, it just leaves a little layer of powder in the nut slot. And it keeps the string sliding evenly through the nut. If you ever get a ping or a ting while you're tuning, it's not a bad string, it's not a bad tuner, it's the string sticking in the nut slot. So what I do is I pull the string tight. Uh, you need a way to measure how much string to pull back. I use the frets. So I will pull the string tight, grab it at the first fret, and I'll pull back uh, just past one full fret. And that's the length I'll use. Uh, some people do a hands width. Just as long as you can repeat it and you become comfortable with it. I take the string, I wrap over the tuner and uh, over the uh, tail. Then I lift the tail up. And then from that point on, I wind down the tuner. I got about two winds on there, maybe three. You put a nice sharp bend in the string coming up. That helps lock the cord of the wind. And then you cut it off. Tune it up. I like to give the string just a slight uh, tug to seat it at the tuner and at the bridge. Uh, Dunlop strings have a, a really quick break-in period and there's no need to overstretch them. You just want to seat them. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the locking method on the A string. Okay. Sometimes you can just pull the bridge pin out by yourself with your fingers. Again, they don't need to be very tight. The only they're, they're just there uh, to hold the string in gently. I will carefully unwrap the string. Don't put any kinks in it or it'll make the string buzz. So again, I'm pulling on the string, tugging on it. 
I feel it, I feel it uh, jump from the bottom of the bridge pin up. We're good. Now on the locking method, I start with the hole, the hole through the tuner parallel with the nut going straight across. Again, we'll put the string through the hole. You don't need as much string in the locking method as you do uh, with the standard uh, method, so I'll pull it tight and I'll uh, maybe put uh, one fret's worth of uh, relief in the string or a tight hand. You bring the tail end back around towards the center of the peg head. You go underneath the business end of the string. You pull the tail tight and then you sharply bend it upwards and back. And basically it's not a knot, it's just crossing over itself. Uh, you would never want to knot a string on a tuning uh, peg. So then you go ahead and wind it on. Again, you don't need a lot of wraps when you lock. Uh, with the locking method, it can be a little quicker if you're uh, in a hurry. It's harder to take the string off the guitar. That's a reason not to do it. Again, there you go. Give it a slight tug. And there you go, there's your two methods. I'm gonna show you quickly the same thing on the treble strings. On the standard method, I do something a little different, which is I go over the top twice. And being careful not to put any kinks in the string. You just want it to come off nice and easy. There you go. Tug it. It's not pulling it out. And again, only finger tight. No need to hammer them in or anything like that. If they creep out while you're tightening the string, just gently push it down. Uh, over tight bridge pins will crack your bridge. Uh, you often see uh, a crack between the bridge pins going right through the bridge. Just again, no need. If they don't fit, um, have that looked at. A little graphite in the nut slot. I've got the tuning machine lined up with the nut, go through. Now I, like a I need a little more string on the plain strings because I go over twice and then under, so it crosses over itself. So I can go to a uh, fret and a half back, or again, this will be a wide uh, hand spacing. So now I'm gonna go over the tail once, over the tail twice, lift it up, And wind down. Give it a little tug. And then make sure it's sharply bent up. And cut it off. There you go. And you're done. That's it. It's very simple. Thanks. Mm -hmm.